Hi guys, Owen Davis here from Goldshape.com and today we're going to be counting down the top five drivers for 2018. Okay, so in at number five on our list is a driver that's hitting the middle price point of the market and it's the Cleveland Launcher HB, uh, HB standing for high bore. Now, we love this driver because it's hitting that uh, middle price point, £279 in the UK RRP. Quite a lot cheaper than a lot of stuff on the market out there. But it, they have worked on this really hard and brought in a lot of tech. Um, what they've done is they've taken a lot of weight out of the hosel by, doing, uh, by not having adjustability. They can do that, uh, put that weight further back, higher down, uh, and really help you get the ball in the air. And when we hit this on the range, really enjoyed it. Thought it was a great product for the price point. You haven't got all the bells and whistles that some of the top, top uh, drivers have. But if you're looking for something, you don't want to break the bank, you want to get a brand new driver uh, with a lot of the modern tech, this one could be for you. Number four on our list is Cobra's new F8 and F8 Plus driver. Now, you'll see this looks pretty distinct on the shelf. You'll see a new CNC milled face technology, and obviously they're not, not the only face technology this year. Several manufacturers are looking at this. What they've been able to do by CNC milling it is make the face thinner and faster. Um, so it's about 10% lighter uh, and about 3% thinner. And that's able to, uh, allowed them to get a lot more ball speed off the face. This combines with a carbon crown, which I really like as well. I think a lot of manufacturers are using this carbon crown rather than titanium. It does save a lot of weight, allows the engineers to play around with it, uh, make sure the MOI goes up so you hit straighter shots and get the weight a bit further back so you can launch the driver a little bit better. Not only that, it also has Cobra Connect technology. And I love what Cobra have done with this. The fact that they're using technology uh, in an innovative way, a different way to make the game more fun on some occasions, but also allow you to get feedback from your game, stats on the golf course, see whether you're missing the fairways with the driver, uh, the stats you get from it, you can then feed back into your practice and really help yourself uh, off the tee. In at number three on our list is TaylorMade's new M3 and M4 drivers. Um, obviously the big, big story, probably the first part of 2018 was the launch of this twist face. Um, that they've used a really in innovative uh, technology. Uh, they, they took thousands and thousands and thousands of goal shots, um, just a mind boggling amount of data to find out that uh, when we hit it out of the toe or out the heel, we're actually, uh, Belgian roll, roll isn't quite working right and not bring it back down to the centre. We're missing it further left and further right than a lot of the engineers first. So they've twisted the face uh, really to help you hit the ball straighter. Um, it's very difficult to know whether this works on a kind of round to round basis, but um, I think you've got to trust what they're trying to do here. Certainly there's been players out there on tour winning with this driver, put it straight in the bag, so they obviously believe in it. And over the course of the season, there might be some incremental gains to be had um, that will really make a difference over the course of an entire year. Not only that, they've got hammerhead technology in there as well, which is their kind of face slot technology, kind of bit of extra ball speed, bit of extra distance for you. And then it's got the same shape, head shape, same carbon crown as the original M1. M2 did as well. So a great looking driver. Twist face is nice. It's nice to see a manufacturer really trying to bring in that dispersion pattern, really concentrating on that. Uh, I think that's made a big difference and a great driver for this year. Okay guys, number two on our list is Ping's G400 driver. Now, we got to hit this the middle of last summer. Obviously, it's been around in 2017 for a bit. They've got new models coming in 2018, the G400 Max, uh, which is going to make a difference as well. Um, and what we love about this driver is how straight it goes, how stable it is. Um, I also think it's really, really long. When I've hit it, um, they've been working on the th face thinness. They feel that they've got about two miles an hour extra uh, ball speed out of it, which equates to kind of six to eight yards. I did think it was Ping's uh, longest driver ever. And also, certainly one, if not, definitely their straightest driver. Um, they've got Dragonfly technology in their game, which they've refined and improved, so you've got a bit of extra speed from that as well. So for me, highest MOI driver on the market, it makes a big difference. If you're looking to hit the ball a bit straighter, hit as many fairways as possible, not lose too much ball speed, 
uh, this is definitely one for you. Also, the price point up there at around £380 on the RRP is a touch, uh, quite a bit lower actually, not touch lower, quite a bit lower than some of the, uh, some of the other drivers on the market. Um, so a great value offering from Ping, uh, and that's our number two for this year. Okay, in at number one is Callaway's Rogue and Rogue Sub-Zero driver uh, for 2018. Now, I think personally for me, this has been the best driver on the market this year. Um, I feel that the Epic um, last year, which actually is still in the lineup for 2018 and um, you know, could easily have made the list as well. Um, it, it's still a great driver, and the technology they had in that, the jailbreak technology, which allows the face to uh, not flex so much around the perimeter, keep all the ball speed right there in behind the face, made a real difference, as did the carbon crown. So I thought Epic was a great driver. For me, they've actually refined some of the technologies in this, so it's not a massive leap forward, unlike Epic uh, last year. It it's really is a refining of the technology. Uh, changing to an hourglass glass shape on the jailbreak technology has allowed them to save some weight. They've also saved quite a lot of weight in the crown by improving that. And what that's allowed them to do is bring the spin rate slightly down on the driver and create a much higher MOI. And if I had one criticism about the Epic, it was that I didn't think it was the straightest driver on the market. While it was super hot off the face, sounded fantastic, it wasn't all that straight. Um, and what they've done with the Rogue is increase their MOI. It's now a lot straighter. You're getting all the benefits that you got from Epic, uh, but now it's just that much better from the T. So that rounds up our list for 2018. Bit of a mixture of price points in there. Um, as always, um, we'd love to hear your comments. Uh, we'll do our best to answer any of your questions if you comment below. If you're watching this YouTube, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. And as ever, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'd really appreciate that. And we'll see you next time.